Hello and welcome to a special projects build within the world of Forza Horizon 5 and this build is one which is close to my heart because even though I'm not a huge Defender fan I do really love the Range Rover SVR. Any of you who follow Beards and Cars will know it was one of my favourite cars that I drove in that series this year. This is my tribute to that but what if there were a Defender SVR in the game? This is authentic overall to what it should feel, look and sound like but also I've taken a couple of creative liberties. Now, as far as the engine, you want to go for the supercharged 5 litre, because that literally is a Jag engine, and that is about as authentic as it can get, because the Range Rover SVR has that 5 litre supercharged Jag engine already. Now, we have upgraded the power just a little bit. I've left it with all-wheel drive, of course. The biggest creative liberty I've taken is with the tyres. I've gone for the off-road racing tyres, partially for its ability, but also partially because the chunkiness really sets off the look, I think. As far as width, I've upgraded it a little bit to 275s, front and rear, which is actually the same tyre size that my Touareg V10 had, funnily enough. As far as the rims, I wanted something that looked like the Range Rover SVR, kind of a snowflake style with a, a chunky, aggressive look. So I've gone for, as you can see, American Racing Barrage rims, and I have increased the size of those up to 21 inches front and back with the largest wheel spaces you can get to really fill out those arches. And I think the stance looks great on this thing. It looks beefy. As far as power, I've only done three things, if I recall correctly. The intake, which is upgraded, as you can see. The valves are upgraded as well, just a little bit and the exhaust and that adds up to 571 horsepower now that is pretty close it's not spot on but it's pretty close to what this car should have because the updated the facelifted range rover svr has about 575 horsepower whereas the older one has 550 so 571 is bang on what they would rate something like a jaguar xkrs gt as so that's exactly what you want to be working for or working toward even as far as the brakes, I've gone for sports. Obviously, racing ones would be too good. You want it to feel authentic. As far as the suspension, I have put it on the rally suspension, which jacks it up a little bit. As far as the anti-roll, I have gone for racing front and rear, although they're not set up to be particularly stiff. For weight loss, just a stage one, like remove the spare tire kind of situation, just to drop a little bit out. And I haven't done anything for the roll cage or chassis. As far as the drivetrain, we've got the sport clutch, the sport drive or oh, drive shaft, I should say, the drive line as they call it. The diff, I've gone for the sport one. You could go for off road, you know, I'll leave that down to you. It depends. If you want to download this one with the share code at the start of the video, then obviously you'll have all of this that I've done, which I would recommend because it feels great. But if you want to do it yourself and change a couple of things, then obviously that's fine. As far as the transmission, I have actually fitted for a change multiple gears. <laughs> Usually I detune my cars in effect to six speed gearboxes because they're mostly top speed builds. For this one I wanted it to feel a little bit more realistic and a little bit more interesting so it's got a nine speed box and that's it as far as the actual parts go. So then for the tuning that I've done the performance is pretty much bang on to what it should be. A real Range Rover SVR does 0 to 60 in four and a half seconds, about 170, 175 flat out. So if you look at the performance there, it's pretty spot on to real life. So I'm happy with that. Those are the gear ratios that I've gone for. Just pause the video and run through those if you need to. Very smooth ratio alignment across the board, as you can see. As far as the uh, actual alignment of the suspension, funnily enough, I don't have any camber on it. I kind of like the look without the camber and it's a bit more fun. Uh, I've reduced the caster to three degrees. Then as far as the anti-roll, we've got 10 and 15. So like I said, nothing too crazy. For the springs, 77 and 66 with the highest possible ride heights. As far as the dampers, 9, 8 and then double 2 there. Aero, of course, doesn't apply. The brakes don't either. And for the diff, all we've got with the sport diff is 50% acceleration, and it naturally has a 50-50 torque split anyway, so that's pretty fun to work with. That's it as far as the tuning. Now I'll flash up on screen the livery options that I've done. Now I've done five different liveries. If you want to complete the look exactly how I've done it with the performance and the designs, like I said, I've done five different ones. I'll put the codes for all of them for whichever one you want.
I've done my favourite colour, which is Vesuvius Orange. That is a, a tribute to the Range Stormer concept, of course. I've done Salsa Red, Laser Blue, Ice White, and for those who like the off-roading look, I've done a special Safari Edition as well, which has kind of desert colours, which I actually think looks pretty nice on this car as well. So grab any and all of those as you so choose. You can, of course, as I showed with the tune code earlier on, grab the tune on my storefront as well, but all that remains is obviously to take it out on the tarmac and on the dirt to see what it actually looks like, sounds like, and feels like. So yeah, in terms of what this can actually do, like I said, it's not designed to necessarily win events, but based on how it feels and how it performs within the B category, I could certainly see this being a vehicle you could use in events if you wanted to. It's certainly no slouch. It's not designed to be the best thing out there, of course, but as far as feeling authentic, feeling like a, a cool representation of what an SVR would feel like in the game, at least in its stock form. I'm really happy with it. I'm happy with her, how it turned out. I love the handling on it. I love the sound. Of course, I love the liveries, but I'm partial because I made them. <laughs> and as far as the performance, it's about as spot on as I could have hoped. The 0-60, the top speed, the spec, it is exactly what I would want from an SVR within the game. So if you do decide to use any and all of this, if you do it yourself following the tune tutorial, or if you grab it from my storefront, if you do your own livery, or if you grab one of mine, however you choose to do it, I hope you have a ton of fun. And that is part of the fun of special projects, putting your own little flair on there if you want to. So I will be doing more of these. They won't be as regular as my performance builds, so of course stick around on the channel for those, but special projects will be returning within Horizon 5 again. But that's it for this vid overall. Of course, I'll see you next time. And for now, as always, thanks for watching.